Cheers, everyone. I've been tagged. Um, so Brian from Short Circuited Brewers tagged me in a recent video of his, um, basically asking three questions, started by Mosky Homebrewing, which I believe they're down in Indiana, but they're somewhere south of me. But uh, anyways, um, so it's three questions, uh, kind of similar to the Taste Niche FAQ, um, but uh, I'll post a link to that video down below that's gonna be way longer i'm trying to make this one short all right so three questions number one um three youtuber brewtuber homebrewing inspirations um this guy back here mr paul wicksteed is obviously one of my biggest inspirations um going electric uh, originally i was going to make a big huge steel brew rig on propane and all that jazz and then I ran across Paul Wixie's channel and forever changed my life um, in many ways. But uh, Paul is dearly missed in the community and he'll, he'll never be forgotten. And his his spirit continues on through each one of us. So um, cheers, Paul. We miss you. Um, another one that uh, has inspired me is Tony Yates. Um, over the years, we started brewing or our, our building our electric rigs right around the same time. So... Um, he, he was a little bit ahead of me, so he helped troubleshoot uh, a lot of my stuff. Plus, uh, he's always looking to innovate and add new parts to uh, his brewery, which uh, has always been intriguing to me. Um, he's always been uh, great to offer helping hints and tips and um, what he did, and uh, he's always been a good friend, too. So cheers, Tony. Thank you. Um, another one that early on kind of got me down this whole electric brewing thing is main brew guy, Gary. Um he, he was brewing in his garage, he had this really cool rig, and then he had a control panel, and it was really, really awesome. So I, I, I did a lot of talking with Gary on my, my early days, trying to figure out what the heck I was doing with the whole uh, electric brewing thing, but uh, um, Main Brew Guy is another guy that, that's inspired me uh, over the years and kind of helped get me to uh, where I am today. So another small group that uh, inspires me, and I'm not going to name them off, but uh, as our low Lupulin support group um, chat, all you guys inspire me every day with the experiments you do, with what uh, the sours and the wilds and the brets and the, the kettle sours and the New England IPAs and um, all the other crazy stuff that you guys do. You guys keep inspiring me every day uh, in that chat, so thank you very much. Cheers, guys. You know who you are. Um, then the next question is, is what's something that, uh, three things that I'm good at? Well, I only wrote down two. Um, I like to think of myself as a quick learner. I may ask a lot of questions and it may seem like it takes me a lot to catch on, but I'm, re I really like to know the, the gears behind what it is and, and understand how things work. Uh, so that's sometimes maybe it seems like it takes me or I ask a lot of questions, but, um, I, I tend to think I pick up on stuff pretty quick, which kind of goes on the next thing. Um, I like building stuff. I like starting out with nothing and then building into something that you can be proud of in the end. Uh, I guess it kind of goes to brewing, photography, um, computers, and uh, videos, and, and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, uh, the next question is name something that you're excited about. And if you guys saw my intro, I'm excited that I am kind of working on rebranding my channel and my brewery, my little home brewery. Um, when I started back in, what is it, 2010 brewing, that was kind of my logo. That's what I did. I didn't really put a whole lot of thought into it. Um, and I thought it was just time to, to change things up a little bit. Um, I'm in a different place now. Uh, my brewing's a little bit different. Um, and hoping to make my channel a little bit different too. So, um, so I got the the new uh, logo, and that's based off of I, I played with this thing for two months. I had like probably about twenty four different logos that I played with. That's the one that stuck. Um, my last name's Everson, uh, so that's where Ever T Tyler is my first name. So Ever T is just that's not very inventive or creative, but uh, that's what I started with, and that's what I'm sticking with. Um, so my Everson roots go back to uh, Norway and uh, kind of just playing around with things that uh, look good with a uh, hop logo and somehow incorporated 
what my brewing name is when it doesn't really mean anything. So that's what it is. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys think it's cool. But uh, um, currently, I am working on this guy uh, canning. I'm very excited to start canning homebrew. Uh, I've been working on some videos, shooting some different stuff. Uh, the unboxing, the using, maintaining, there's some troubleshooting, and then some process changes and stuff like that that I've been working on. So as I uh, get the video all edited and put together, look out for those videos. But I'm really excited just to be canning homebrew. It's, it's going to be kind of cool um, to be doing that and not dealing with all the, the bottles. But uh, um, the other thing I'm looking for is actually a poor challenge. Round one is coming at us. I think Beers are going to be shipped out sometime this week, next week, so that's pretty badass. I'm always looking forward to trying all you guys' beers and seeing what you guys come up with. The uh, The whole competition was a little bit different this year because you had certain ingredients you had to use each round, so you really had to plan it out. You couldn't use the ingredients twice, so it, it was a definite challenge. And then some of the ingredients, um, oh, I had a great idea for this, but it's this yeast, so that didn't really work. So trying to to, to put your, your brew together to make it taste good, so we'll see. But uh, looking forward to that. Cheers to everybody that got in the SJ4 Challenge this year. All right, so finally I need to um, take three people to do this back. And uh, one guy is uh, Gary, main brew guy. If you catch this, uh, you're tagged. You're it. Um, Half Empty Brewing. If you guys haven't watched him, uh, he's got an awesome channel. And he does smaller batch brewing on a, like, Blickman brew in a bag. But he's got a Tower of Power and... It's pretty cool. Uh, check check out his channel. Um, Half Empty Brewing, if you get this, your tag. And then uh, my buddy Mitch. Uh, he's newer to YouTube, but I've been brewing with him for quite some time now. Um, from Fremont Street Brewing uh, is his YouTube channel. And Mitch, you're it. So cheers, everybody. Hopefully I didn't go too long this time, but uh, thanks, Brian, for giving me the shout on this. And uh, I got some work to do, so we'll see you on the tubes pretty soon. Cheers.